What is up, Mousetrap Gang? Welcome back to another video. You see, man, we got the console out here right now. It's your boy Mouse, and we're about to fiberglass this thing before the sun comes up, man. It's probably like around like 7 15 in the morning, and we could fiberglass this like around like noon, but that's not ideal right now because, man, Florida weather, it is extremely hot out here, guys. It is like no joke, and fiberglassing um, in this weather. Yeah, it could go good, but at the same time, we do not want it to, uh, you know, how should I say this, get our material, like, uh, react faster. You see what I'm saying? Because, obviously, if fiber, fiberglass reacts good in the heat, now in this Florida heat, man, it's going to react a lot faster, and that's not good for us. And right now, with us doing uh, fiberglassing early in the morning, it gives us time to play with um, the fiberglass. And then once that sun starts beaming around like 11, 12, man, this thing will dry up like in an instant. And that's what we want. We got fiberglass mat that we already got cut up. We got some paint brushes. I taped up the speaker because remember, we're going to set the speaker inside here to give it the shape. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And we have our fiberglass resin right there, our MEKP, stir sticks, and some gloves. We're going to lay the fiberglass resin all through it real good. And we're going to try to get inside it, which we are going to get inside there. And then we're gonna come back with a whole nother cup of the fiberglass resin. I didn't get the regular measuring cups, but I cut up a piece of a, there's a two liter of soda. It should just do just as fine. Um, and after we put our first layer of fiberglass resin on it, we are gonna come back and start laying mat down to really secure this guy and get it strong. So let's get on it. Please subscribe to the channel, man. Hit that uh, thumbs up, and man, and just drop a comment, man. Let me know what's good. Just actually poured out some resin. As you can see, it is purple, man. That's the purple stuff is what I like, man. Um, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our MEKP. We're gonna open this guy up, and since we want to play with it, man, we're only gonna dump a little bit in here. I wish I would have had it on the actual measuring cup, but we're just gonna eyeball it. That should be good right there. But you gotta remember, man. You gotta stir that thing up really good in order for it to react. The thing with the fiberglass resin, man, is you got to make sure that you stir it real good. You know, and it starts turning a little bit brown, like right there. That's a good mix right there. You don't want it, the darker brown that you get it, the worse it is because it will, um, how should I say, react faster and it'll harden on you like there's no tomorrow. That's, and that's not what you want. You want like a nice solid, like brown. So we're going to stir this thing up for a little bit just to make sure that we have good um, stir good um how should i say this mixture very good mixture i need to start learning good terminology man like i said i was never good in school i don't know my vocabulary words that good but we do what we can looks like coat okay so we're gonna continue mixing real quick So I'm not too worried about this because where you see that line right there, it's going to get sliced off because remember right here in the edges, that's where the dash sits. Um, but I am going to resin it and it's going to get fiberglass mat on it so it's solid. But you see how it has like a wet look? Um, that's what we're pretty much going after right there. Um, same thing like right here, like you see, it's the wet look. 
that's when we know we got good full coverage on her. Um, and as you can see, I had I put the speaker inside there to get the shape of it. You see the magnet? That looks pretty cool. It looks like it's just floating there. Um, these seams right here, I'm not worried about them because you'll see what we'll do with it right now. Um, but you see, this is what we're actually looking for, like a nice wetness of it. So now with that being said, what we're going to do next is now we're going to actually lay fiberglass mat on it, guys. Um, this is where the fun part begins and this is where it starts getting solid. I think with a nice um, solid layer, probably like two layers of fiberglass mat on her, it should be good. But you see there's like the rings are somewhat big so it doesn't actually require a lot of heavy strips. And look, I got the strips right here. The regular rock and roll. So while um, the our little bucket that we got going on today is somewhat still fresh and wet, we're going to continue and we're going to put uh, fiberglass resin in again. Mix the MEK pee up nice and uh, dark brown. And then we're gonna get back on it and lay this fiberglass mat. Uh, you guys get the the chip of it real quick, right? Uh, this is probably what like our third project, that fifth project that we've done on the channel, fiberglass related. Um, and you remember after this we start sanding. So let's get this done. The sun's almost out. It's still working pretty good. And let's get it. Okay, so this is what it should look like you see how it has like the shine on it look the sun just came out look that thing it's a good thing that we did this bright and early gang otherwise man fighting against that sun with this fiberglass would not been fun at all um but you see it we got the shine and you see how we put the mid in there we taped it up and it, we got the shape of it that looks really cool um i put tape on it and i put wax underneath the bottom of it so once it gets hard i could just pop it out of place and it's gonna stay solid it's gonna stay that shape we put a nice little uh, layer of fiberglass mat on top of it, which is going to make that thing even bond stronger. So what I'm going to do now is it is about like 8.05 or something like that in the morning. So I'm just going to let it sit probably till like 12. And then I'm going to come back and just do like a very like light coat of resin on it again. 
um, and then with that it should secure the jaw because as it dries up it does get some dry points but while it's still moist it's good to go ahead and just put some fiberglass resin on it so it just like secures the bag as they say a little bit better but for the most of it like you see our seams are already gone so what we do here is you know we lightly grind it and then we fill it in with our badass Duraglass and it'll be like it, it never ever happened like the same thing over here um, but probably what we'll do is when we do our next layer I'll probably put another like strong layer of uh, fiberglass mat on it so the structure of it's good so it's not all just filler although it's not paint so it'll never crack um, it's gonna be under vinyl so it should be fine but I mean you get the gist of it same thing right here we put a good enough mat so once we cut it it has like a nice um, uh, line and then we fill it in with body filler and then I think it's gonna look a one ladies and gentlemen like I really like it it looks good um, any questions drop them in the comments if this is the stuff you like man go ahead and hit that subscribe button definitely hit that like man because we're out here doing the damn thing but like I said our main objective which we got it done was to come out here and fiberglass it early in the morning because like this Florida heat is no joke for this stuff like these are chemicals it's not like it's like staples and glue the hotter the day um, the better it is to work with fiberglass but at the same time it's bad because man that thing will just like react fast because like I said they're just they're chemicals you know what I'm saying you put part A and part B in it and you mix it man it's gonna chemically react so fast um, because man like I said that fiberglass loves that heat and Florida heat man you get it you look hold on, let me get out the way okay you see how like this is dark and that's light green so obviously we need to go ahead and we need to go um, this is what I meant when we'll let it dry and then we'll come back and we'll um, soak it up a little bit more because on the wood part like the wood absorbs a lot of the fiberglass resin because you see like it's mainly where there's wood so wood absorbs the resin a lot so you gotta like really get it in there guys you see what I'm saying and with it letting it dry and letting it sit like that um, you know we're gonna come back right now and just soak it up a little bit more just to make sure that we got good coverage and to let it all dry as one but it's I don't think it's a good idea to go ahead and let it really dry out then come back and do it because then it will never dry you see what I'm saying so it's always good it will never like react and bond together like it's supposed to what I'm trying to say so what's the best idea is probably we'll give it like another like 10 minutes because the Sun is beaming and the Sun the direction is actually coming in right here so it's little like literally letting it like um, react as the Sun hits it where the Sun is beaming on it so we basically got to come back mix up a little bit more resin and like really get these edges uh, really good and soak them in there because they are where that woods at so we need to really make sure that the wood um, has plenty of resin on the you know going out towards it and going into it so it like stays solid but you guys get the drift pretty much what I think is going to be the actual solution because like actually this one has fiberglass mat but you see that it's like soaking through and if we were to like grind it down it's just going to come back to material and that's what we don't want so I'm actually going to cut some small strips because on the edges of it just to secure it a little bit better I'm just going to go ahead and just add little small pieces of mat on there we really don't have to we just really just had a resonant but this just like I, I always say I do stuff to help me sleep better at night and if making these strips is going to help me feel better about the console then that's what we're going to have to do guys it's better to take these measures that we have the materials and do it so it doesn't really uh, jeopardize our next step we want everything to come out accordingly we don't want to you know half ass it just because um, it's already done it's, it's basically already done but a little bit more extra work never hurt nobody you see what I'm saying so let's finish this then we're gonna go and mix up some resin just in a smaller cup um, add this and then just let it dry but after I get done doing this I'm gonna actually physically move the console like more in the middle um, so it gets a little bit more sunlight and then it can uh, react good because on this side you see like there's not that much sun glare 
and over here all the sun's right there so I really wanted to hit it on the other all the other sides but it's already um, getting hard you already feel it a little bit see what I'm saying but we really want that thing to be solid after a few cups later uh, fiberglass resin there you guys got it man Look at it. now we actually got Sun beaming on her from left to right front to back all that man I am out of breath holy cow um, so it was actually reacting as I was doing it um, underneath it so that's gonna be good so with the resin coat that I just put on top of it and when the extra fiberglass mat I put on it man that thing's gonna sandwich chemically react that thing is solid people that thing is very 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 solid uh, man that, that's some good fiberglass work right there and so this is what it's supposed to look like now you know like it's got like hella good coverage on it I really like how you know with the magnet is hanging out right there it looks like it's just floating awesome stuff all right don't mind none of this stuff right here because we just come through with the router and just router it out same thing with right here that that's nothing guys and you will see in next video um, the process of sanding it now we're just gonna let it get some mad sunlight let it sit and we're gonna call it fiberglass done man another project with fiberglass stuff done Definitely get in the comments if you guys got any fiberglass questions I am here for all you guys um, let me know what you guys think on yesterday's video uh, what should be the next giveaway some people said a head unit with some mids and highs maybe a head unit with small amp uh, I mean I don't know it's up to you guys this is for you guys um, like I said I'm gonna make a sticker to where you can purchase at like 25 bucks that'll get you entered in it um, with other entries in it but for right now we are fiberglass done and we're gonna call it a day we're gonna let mother nature take its course and dry her up so man we get another fresh start on it tomorrow oh, i appreciate Sandy. you guys tuning into the channel once again man because here at the mousetrap gang man we do everything together we try to do things a little bit different and we're a solid family man like the chopper's out and with that being said the helicopter flying over this ain't that mosquito uh stuff um so we're gonna catch you guys on the next one man peace